The impact of the attacks on Israel are also being felt at Jewish communities here in Austin. KVU's Kelsey Sanchez spoke with people who are, are ready to help. She joins me live in the studio tonight. Hi, Kelsey. Good evening, Dernisha. This attack is coming at a time where the Jewish community is closing out a high holy day season. And instead of focusing on celebration, many people across the world and right here in Austin are reeling as they watch the bloodshed unfold in Israel. However, I did talk to one rabbi who says the main focus right now is letting Israel know they are not alone. Now, the images coming out of Israel and the Gaza Strip have left a mark on millions. I talked to I talked with Rabbi Daniel Septimus, who is the CEO of Shalom Austin. He explained this surprise attack happened on the heels of the 1973 Yom Kippur War, which mirrors a similar sight of what we've been seeing in Israel. Through this, the community center, which provides services and raises funds for people who are Jewish around the world, says although Israel is a small country, it's one with connections everywhere and impacts everyone. This impacts people of multiple faiths and backgrounds who, are, who have been impacted, who have been killed, who have been injured. We have to voice as a people uh, and as a community here in the United States and abroad that that's unacceptable behavior uh, and we won't tolerate that kind of behavior against innocent civilians. Rabbi Septimus says they have already launched an emergency fund for Jewish federations of North America and have also sent out messages. They are also organizing a community gathering. Live in studio tonight, I'm Kelsey Sanchez, KBU News. Kelsey, thank you. Governor Greg Abbott also responded to the attack in Israel on social media. The governor said he and the first lady are praying for the victims, writing, quote, Israel will always have a friend in Texas, end quote.